Well, welcome to the Wednesday edition of the Fringe News with Reverend Jeff. Tonight's news is packed full of great content and an unusual ending not to be missed. So, starting off the crypto news tonight is Dustin Christensen and his search for Bigfoot. His YouTube channel has just a few videos of his search up, but some of them contain some serious evidence. This particular clip of the Bigfoot trackway he's managed to find and document. Not only was he quick to grab the camera, but also to put something in a video for scale. See the description for a link to the video. Next up is the Wasatch Family Squash Watchers, and they're back once again, and this time they have their adventure footage for us. This family has all the makings of a top-notch Bigfoot team, and their trusty pooch is alongside. The Family Squatchers are back in the Provo Canyon area again, trying to follow up on the famous footage, and may have discovered some sort of nest for themselves. Check out youtube.com slash WFSBigfoot to see their adventures. And wrapping up the crypto news tonight is Steve Alcorn's Crypto of the Week. This crazy animal was found in a random location by two guys in a truck, so they busted out the video camera and started the investigation. As odd as this thing seems, no one seems to have an answer on what in the planet this could be from, let alone what species. It's an alien? Is it a government cover-up? Or just possibly nature gone bad? Click over to youtube.com slash slick toys to watch the video. And finally, wrapping up everything tonight, your very own Reverend Jeff, along with Rick Riolo of After Hours and Christopher York, Steve Alcorn, and the secret Asian man Sean Evidence himself are invited by Phil Poling to do another live breakdown on the strange creature video found by Slick Toys. So be sure to stop by youtube.com slash parabreakdown to watch the clip. Now, kicking off the Out of This World news tonight is the Townsend Media and his coverage of the NASA slip-up, providing once and for all that the government knows all about alien craft, and this time, he has the video to prove it. The craft seems to fly right past the camera that is recording, and somehow, everyone has missed it until now. Just when you think they'll tell us the truth, click on over to youtube.com slash Townsend Medium to watch the entire video. Also the night just released is this amateur video of a moon watcher. Tolga Yazisir came up with this 40 second UFO clip of a four disc shaped craft leaving the surface of the moon. It takes a moment or two to really get a grip on what you're seeing, but sure enough, that's what I saw at least. See the description for a link to the video. And it seems that the moon isn't the only place with recent visitors. This image of a craft over Austria comes from us from Magic Deck 76 channel, and while I really can't believe what I'm seeing at the moment, this is no earth craft, that's for sure. Humans haven't found a way to make this type of flight possible, so just what can it be? Check out youtube.com slash magicdex76 for the video. Now on tonight's paranormal spotlight is Ghost Link Paranormal and their investigation into the Oransky Battlefield. The two-part video adventure follows the guys as they use all the tools at their disposal. From phantom gunfire to talking spirit boxes, these guys seem to have a hot spot left over energy of spirits of the past. Check out youtube.com slash ghostlinkparanormal to watch the shows. And finally tonight, in the WTF weirdness footage, just what is this strange looking sea creature? The people taking the footage have no idea what it is, and it popped up after some storms just north of Cyprus. So I'll leave you with the full footage tonight. Your Operation Condor message of the night is, do not light the campfire. Do not light the campfire. Thanks for joining me for the Fringe News number 16. I'm Reverend Jeff, and may the squads be with you. Strange, whatever it is. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you take care of it. Uh, yeah. After both families. Oh, uh, okay. <laughs>